she hasn't seen her truck detailed in a long time. So me and Ty did the incredible work here with everything from the tire shine to the wheel clean, which by the way, we sell all that stuff. Check this thing out. Look at the interior of this thing. It's probably gonna make it harder to let it go if she sees how clean we got this thing. When's the last time you've seen this truck that clean? Um, it was packed full of moving stuff. <laughs> I think that was like the last time I left it in the shop. No, it had like bears paw prints all over it, didn't it? Yeah, me and Ty White. I think Paul. I put them in the back of the seat and then I took it to the rodeo and then it sat all there. So, yeah. yeah Ty actually, that was right when you started working for us mm -hmm. back then too. But doors work. They do work. <laughs> You can even have a free chicken if you want. Come get it. <laughs> <laughs> so this thing is clean. And of course we had to do a thorough cleaning on this thing because I'll let you explain. Reagan's got some, she's got some, she's got some information to share with you about the new buyer for her truck and not the new buyer, the, the buyer just in general for the truck and the new plans for Rosine. Because as she discussed, probably, was it two weeks ago, give or take? A week, yeah. a little week and a half, maybe? Yeah. She had kind of broke the news that she is looking to replace Rosine with something that's more family-friendly, more practical for her. It's not a five-inch door. Pull it, well, five plus two and a <laughs> half in the front. To be able to pull a trailer just fine, take the kids in, have way faster to use heat in AC, you know, just steering that's a little safer you know if she's gonna take a truck with two or three horses in a trailer going up and down the hills around here just something that rides softer quieter interior you know we got a one month old baby you know yeah. we got a two year old going on three soon and lord willing we have more kids it's just kind of hard to use it as a, a truck and a work vehicle well yeah but that <laughs> but then also just a truck that you can call your truck and use for your truck stuff that doesn't just have to sit yeah and We've gone, through, I mean, I'm not going to go through the whole ordeal again, but she's gone through explaining the fact that yes, we could just get another truck so we can keep Rosine and then get another truck that she can use for all that stuff. But then what happens with Rosine? Just continues to sit. Same thing like the brake line that all of a sudden just rusted through and blew because she's just been sitting. Now we did fix that and it's perfect. Minor stuff like that, it just happens. Like with my dad's 7.3, he had that truck almost completely problem free for almost 300,000 miles. When he got a brand new truck in 2014 and parked that thing, within two or three years, he had more fixes in two or three years than he had ever had in the 10 years prior. It's just kind of how it goes. Mm -hmm. And that's just the nature of almost any vehicle, but big old diesel trucks, especially, they're made to run long hours, pulling stuff, driving a lot, not sit and drive two or three times a year. I am selling it to our business. Um, that way, one of you have the opportunity to um, win Rosine. And I know a lot of you are probably going to be asking why we decided to do that. Why don't we just, you know, sell it to somebody, get rid of it, whatever. Because there were some people that messaged and commented yes. like, oh, I'd love to buy it. I want to buy it. I want to buy it. <laughs> yeah, I did have some people like reach out and um, I appreciate that. But um, I think I want to give somebody else the opportunity or we want to give yeah. the business um the opportunity for somebody to win this and we do the same thing with nasty red you know we had a lot of background and history with that truck that truck was awesome um honestly kind of a little upset but we know it's still in ohio so that's good yeah so we we <laughs> were going to send nasty red to auction because at the time i was like i don't want to give it away because in my opinion it just still needed so much to be what i wanted it to be and i just didn't want to give it away knowing that it's not how i wanted it finished but then tons of you guys were like, we don't give a crap how it's finished. Like, yeah. fucking give us the chance to win the thing. Like, but that's the same way I think I feel about this truck. There's a lot I, when I look at it that I wish I would have done or could still do. Yeah. But um, I feel like that's with like every truck. I don't really think you look at it it's like, okay, there's nothing else to do. I know. Once you have it and you get something done, it's only a matter of weeks. And then you're like, huh, why don't we do that? Reagan is being compensated for this just like i would pay you know to buy any other truck maybe maybe a little bit sweeter deal just because i'm a little biased towards her as the seller she's one of my favorite sellers i'm buying the truck from her through the business and the business lot and proud lmpgear.com is going to be giving this truck away to one of you guys i'm pretty excited about that and right now this giveaway is actually live and every one dollar is going to be 30 entries towards winning this truck 
And if you back up here just a hair, Ty, you can show them the first gen also. Not only is Rosine sweet with the chance to win that truck, but if you enter between now and Sunday, I think it's March 19th, between now and March 19th, you're gonna get 30 entries towards both trucks. So it's kind of like a two for, I mean, it's a two for one. I mean, it's it's pretty legit. So grab those and yes, Rosine's gonna come with five grand. This one's gonna come with five grand. It's two separate drawings and two separate giveaways, just, just to be clear. So the Rosine giveaway is gonna go a little bit longer than the 19th, but to enter to win both of them at the same time is only going to be open between now and March 19th. It'll be a little bit. <laughs> Especially now that it's clean. When it was like all dusty, you sit at the shop, not vacuumed up, we're like, yeah, it's, water. it's a second jam. Like, it's cool, but it's a second jam. We like, just, we cleaned it up so thing. nice, and it's like. I was like, Ty, we might have cleaned this thing a little too nice, because now it looks really good. <laughs> like, you were starting to reminisce. You're like, man, I don't know if I can do it now. I don't know, I don't know. I literally was telling him, I was like, I don't think I can do it. He's like, we just spent an hour cleaning this thing. <laughs> I was it, like, it would make it a little bit not as hard if we had another nice truck, you know, sitting in the driveway. It was pretty clean. Which that that could probably actually happen before Rosine is actually sent off to one of you guys. She might, so, if she finds the right truck. If you want to send it to the customer service email, I go through them. <laughs> and she does go through all of our customer service emails. I'm so lucky. <laughs> there was a guy who commented about a mug. I think it was a mug. Yeah, we probably got a few mug comments. So mugs. so don't take it personal like if it was you because it might not have been you that you're thinking. But he's like, I, I emailed you and it's been a month. And first off, it was not a month. It was a month since he ordered and two weeks since he got the product and his email was three days old. <laughs> but he referred to the date that he placed the order as he's been waiting that long for a response, which is not true. Um, she goes through all the emails raises two kids, works really hard. I work hard, she works trying to hard. Trying make them feel sorry for No, it's just, you know, you just, we're all people, we're all humans. I mean, we, we're all trying to do our best, but you know, we're not, we're not freaking Amazon Prime, but you can't just hit return with no explanation and get your money back and the product set back immediately. You know what I'm talking about, Ty. Oh, I know. You, some of these people, man, I'm telling you. No, just pass. We love all you guys, but some of you just be careful. I'm talking to my wife in the email, so be careful. Thing looks beautiful. We should show them the interior and everything because I haven't done that yet. And then we're gonna go over some of the some of the things that we changed about this truck since she attained it originally. Um, there's a couple more things we're still gonna change before it officially leaves. It's gonna be completely looked over and make sure she's all good to go. Make a good truck for one of you guys. But for the most part, other than that brake line. We really haven't had anything to really, we haven't had any actual mechanical issues or problems with the truck. Have we? I can't think of any. The only problem I've ever had with this truck was the spigot inside of the fuel tank was too short when I got it. And as a high school student, I let it get a little bit too low. Right. <laughs> and so when I went, uh, I think I was going up a hill and the fuel shifted in the tank, it killed the truck. Um, suck there in the line. So what they did is they went in and laid a bed full of straws or something like that. Well, they put a sump in it. called? They put okay. a sump and they tried to explain. They said it's basically like a web of, yeah. you know, fuel straws at the bottom of the tank. So where it never can actually run out of fuel unless you literally run it out of fuel. So that's, that's the only problem yeah, I've ever had. That's about it's it. A lot of miles on this while you're dating. Oh, yeah. And engaged. Driving back and forth from Indianapolis to Fort Wayne. And well, I used to work for a horse fair, so I used to like travel all over Indiana. So, a little bittersweet, huh? <laughs> oh yeah. Just dang it, why are we reminiscing like this? <laughs> she's trying to she's trying to make it hard to do this, but I've asked her so many times. I'm like, are you sure? I even asked her yesterday. I was like, are you sure you want to give this truck away? <laughs> I mean, she's getting she's getting paid really well for the truck, but I'm saying like, it's like emotionally, like, are you sure you want to give this truck away? Cause you don't have to, you can, just, you can just keep the old second gen parked in the barn and just let it sit there. Yeah, that's what you really that's want to do. Hard but... thing is watching it sit, so. She told me, I want to give it away, that's what I want to do. So, okay. We can make that happen. Yeah, I'd rather have a truck that I can put my horses around. <laughs> it's just hard to see it sit when it could be sitting at one of your driveways and you guys could actually drive it every day and like yeah. absolutely use it and love it. When, and then she could be doing the same thing with something else that's just so much more practical for what she needs. Yeah. Um, There's no promise there will be no tears shed, but it will be happy and sad tears right. mixed. Right, right. <laughs> no promises. But yeah, there it is. And then uh, we'll give them a tour here, but 
<laughs> Thanks for being in the video. I gotta decide to take care of our kids. I gotta do the rest of the video. All joking aside, we're gonna go over and we're gonna do a brief overview of what all has been done with Rosine since pretty much as far as I can remember since we started dating back in 2018, I believe it was. I believe we started dating in late 2018, married early 2019. So I think we're just gonna like start at the front of the truck and just work our way back and try to think of everything instead of going front back, front back, front back. So, starting at the front of the truck, you guys should remember the video if you have been a long time viewer and Rosine fan. If you have not, you probably have not seen the video. For her birthday in 2021, I did a custom Rosine grill paint matching. The bumper, I got her a Fort Joe bumper, did the paint matching. I replaced both the front fenders because they had a little bit of rust forming through here so i had those pulled new ones put on so that's why this paint on the front end looks exceptionally amazing is because it's great and then uh our friends over at boost auto parts sent us some brand new boost auto parts fourth gen mirrors and then once we swap the toggle out for the mirror adjustments these are actually going to be power folding mirrors they have the modules wired through the doors with bluetooth power folding is pretty sick we did replace her, I did purchase her these headlights and the tail lights when we were dating. We weren't even married yet and I was already buying her truck parts. I was just kind of trying to flex. Just trying to, you know, just you trying gotta to, show off a little bit. Deal, you know. Know? I'm trying to seal the deal. So I did get her the headlights and the tail lights for the truck. I also had a five inch rough country suspension lift put on the truck for her because she said, I really want a lift, I really want a lift. So I said, okay, cool, baby, I'll buy you a lift. I'll make this truck so impractical, you're gonna love it. <laughs> so we threw a huge five inch lift on there because she said she wanted one so bad. So we did that. I also offered to take the lift off for her to keep the truck and she said that it still wouldn't change the fact that it's just not as practical for little kids and long distance and all that stuff. So can't, can't argue with it if that's what she wants. So we got the five inch lift, two and a half inch spacer up front, giving you a total of roughly seven, seven and a half inches of additional front clearance in the front, five inches in the rear. We got some beautiful, like new condition, 35 by 1250 R20 Toyo Open Country MTs. I was gonna get her a cheaper set of tires, and then she just said, I love the Toyos, I really want Toyos. So I chucked up all the cash to get her the Toyo she wanted. Anybody that knows Toyos knows they're freaking, they're legit, they're nice. And uh, we wanted only the best tire on the truck for the wife. So that's what we did there. We're rocking the 20 by 12 Anthem Avenger wheels, gloss black with milled accents. Things are legit. Anthem, thank you so much for always being a part of all of our closest to heart builds, whether it's this one, my grandfather's truck, Nasty Red. You guys have always been supportive of our most fond moments here with the second gens that have been closest to us and a couple of first gens in there too. So we appreciate you guys for that. Anthem I actually sent these to my wife as a birthday gift when I was doing the whole surprise for that. They're like, you know what? You give us an address, we'll send you the wheels. That's the kind of company they are. Love them and uh, highly appreciate it. We got the new upper and lower control arms on this truck um, because, you know, it just had to have bigger ones with the lift. So we went with those and uh, it's been great. You can fully lock the setup side to side. It doesn't rub at all. We did put the chrome and red Cummins badges on both sides, which is sweet. Looks good. Going on the interior. Here's a sub box and it is fastened and bolted in place now. I actually hand built this sub box and I took it to an upholstery shop. Interior, custom interiors by Thomas in Garrett, Indiana. He's the best. He wrapped this for us and uh, it, it sounds really really good have you heard it yet have i i don't even know if i've heard ah when you went to the rodeo I went to, when i went to the rodeo i heard yeah, it. it it sounds pretty good like for, for building it i've never had any experience with building any kind of audio box of any kind it sounds pretty good she got her little red lights in there because it had to be rosine red everywhere you know and everything she, had to match perfectly oh, yeah. so, and then she also did the rosine red splatter paint on the dash bezel she popped the bezel up painted it black splattered the whole thing you know that was her 17 year old like I did a mod, you know what I'm saying? Like this picture is like stuck to the dash. It's literally like melted to the dash. <laughs> it's making me sad. It's a picture of us in the first YouTube video we ever filmed together. That's actually a screenshot from the first YouTube video we ever filmed together. Don't tear up on me right now. I know, it's hard. It's actually even gonna come with some of these Rose air fresheners. 
pretty special. Oh yeah, on the interior now I know what I was doing. Um, we do have the flip out screen here. Pioneer head unit, Apple CarPlay, you can choose your audio settings, all that jazz. Wireless phone calls, you can actually make your calls through that unit, it's pretty legit. Pretty legit, and the ringer is annoying. Thank you, Dodge, for that annoying door chime with every single Dodge truck. She does have a fast fuel system on the truck with a sump pump, and it's it's pretty it's pretty nice. Plenty of fuel pressure, it's great. Um, the truck is running all the gauges through this edge program where you can read everything, exhaust temp, trans temp, um, fuel pressure, everything. All that, all your data is in there and all that stuff is wired and it runs through that programmer. It's pretty sick. There's like four or five on the fly settings, which it's pretty nice. There's like economy, there's towing, there's a whole bunch. I don't remember them all, but there's a bunch. It's on the fly, it's pretty sick. Here's the tail lights that I had purchased for her. And when I purchased these tail lights for her, I actually had taken these tail lights out and this was part of her birthday gift in 2021. I actually took the tail lights in and I had him paint match the bezels on the tail lights as well. These are supposed to be all black here, Ty. Mm -hmm. I actually had them paint match so they kind of blend with the truck. It's pretty sick. Um, bed liner in the bed as well. Am I missing anything? Is that it? Is that all we've done with this truck in all these years? Dude, they're going to pick our precious morel mushrooms. You better not. I should go back here literally immediately. Pick all of them before they get back there. Exactly what I was thinking. And it's kind of like a stare off right now, like 800 yards away, but you know, they're both looking at each other. I can tell. That's my friend, my <laughs> now this truck's gone through a lot of different stages over the years. She used to have 20 by 12s and 35s that destroyed the fenders because they rode like crazy, didn't fit at all. And that was when she was in high school. And then it went from that to an even bigger set that was even worse. It was a... Uh, She's like, I really like that low and wide look. So I got her a set of, this is, This was another flex moment. This is when I was like, oh, fine, baby, no problem. I'll buy you a set of Anthem. So I actually bought her a set of 22 by 14 Anthem equalizers and some brandy spanking new, again, again, only the best for the wife. Brandy spanking new, Nitto, Terra Grappler MTs. I mean, they were sick. I mean, you guys, if you remember way back the OG setup, it was like this wide and it just stuck out so far and the truck was way low. It was super wide. It was mean mugging. It was bad. I mean, it was so impractical. Like, you couldn't turn the thing. Like, to, to turn around, it's like a 35 point turn. It was, it was terrible. It was the worst. Yep. Here's another one of those old picture she's stuck stuck in the dash you know that's pretty much it for the rosine this is rosine's fate and uh i don't know there's people that are going to be kind of upset about it there's people that are going to be glad about it at the end of the day this was reagan's choice i told i gave her so many options of what to do i said i'll take the lift off if that'll make it easier to, to keep and drive and use and i'll get you a different set of wheels and tires or if you need it to be a dually like i'll freaking convert it to a dually rear end like i offered tons of different things and she was like at the end of the day, I just need to get something that's more practical that I can use day in and day out. I'm not going to feel bad about driving it. It's going to have plenty amazing AC in the summer for the kids, plenty quick working, you know, heat in the winter for the kids. I want to be able to like haul the horses in the family, all go together, be comfortable, you know, be able to throw my dog in there and have room still or whatever. Like she's just like, she wants something that's just gonna fit her needs to where she can use the truck that she calls her a truck. And so, you know, I was like, well, I'll pay you X amount for Rosine to use it for the business. And that's technically, uh, it's 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 pretty well over the actual value of the truck of what I'm, is what I'm paying her. That way she has money to get something that she will be able to fall in love with all over again and use and enjoy and yeah, make the most of it. So, anyways, guys, thanks so much for watching. Don't forget, you can get entered to win this truck right now, lmpgear.com. And that one, at the exact same time, we'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace.